Leon Rito, a teenager from Chile, has apparently been the victim of a terrifying haunting for some time. Loud bangs would wake him in the night and the sounds of cackling would echo from the floor beneath him. He became so afraid that he confided in his friends and family, but nobody believed him. One night, he's awoken by strange noises in his room and wanting to capture the evidence on camera, he pulls out his phone and hits record. Son las 3 de la mañana. Hace 3, 4 días fácil que no puedo dormir. Se escuchan ruido por toda la casa y no sé qué hacer. Yo no creo mucho esto. Me, no me da miedo, pero no sé. Grabo a cinco... ¡La concha de su madre! ¡Ahí está! ¿Quién carajo anda ahí? Es la nena esa de mierda de vuelta. Yo me voy a la mierda. A toy suddenly flies off a chest of drawers, frightening the life out of Leon Rito. Then Loud thumping sounds can be heard echoing off the bathroom door before it slowly swings open. But when he checks inside, he finds nothing. Convinced that there is something paranormal at play here, he decides to set up a camera in his room to catch any evidence while he's asleep. And a few nights later, the camera caught this creepy moment. Orbs can be seen floating around before the bathroom door swings open, waking Leon Rito. Startled, he grabs his phone and checks the bathroom, but this time, horrifying noises can be heard and then someone or something appears to be smacking the shower curtain. Scared out of his mind, Leon Rito bravely pulls back the shower curtain, but nothing's there. Then, caught on his CCTV camera, his bedroom door swings open, but again, no one's there. These scary moments were just the beginning for Leon Rito. Several nights later, banging disturbs him again. 3 de la mañana, me vine a la casa del campo. Leí muchos comentarios que me recomendaban que, que, que me mude y me vine para acá para ver si el problema es yo. Pero parece que me sigue porque se escucha, escuchando. Yo ya no, miedo ya no tengo. Y no hay nadie. El ropero este es grandísimo, pero no, no hay, es increíble, pero parece que me sigue. La verdad, no, no. Wardrobe rattles over and over, but when he opens it, nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, a ball then rolls behind him and objects begin to fall off the shelf right in front of his eyes. On another night, he's awoken again. Otra vez el demonio que me está molestando de vuelta. Aquí está. ¿Quién sos? Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos. Santificado sea tu nombre. No sos bienvenido, andate. Andate. Me tenés cansado, mostrate. No te voy a tener miedo. Andate de acá. ¿Quién sos?
Noises can be heard coming from the bathroom before the handle all of a sudden violently begins moving up and down. And if you listen closely, what sounds like a little child laughing can be heard. <laughs> But then it just stops and the door swings open and something white can be seen hiding in the bathroom. However, when Leon Rito takes a look inside, there's no one in there. Several nights pass before the activity gets worse. Son de nuevo las 3 de la mañana. Estuve durmiendo tranquilo estos días, pero ahora me despertaron de vuelta los ruidos. Me recomendaron que prenda la luz. Me voy a quedar callado. Déjame salir, hijo de puta. Déjame salir. Tapping can be heard in the bathroom before the door swings open, similarly to previous nights. This time though, when he checks inside, the door behind him slams shut and he can't get out. He manages to break out, then knocking can be heard on the glass of his front door, but when he looks outside, again, no one's there. However, the sounds of a child laughing creepily echoes out of his bathroom. In this next clip, Leon Rito is in his bathroom getting ready for bed when he hears the sound of someone whistling. 3 de la mañana, recién salgo de bañarme. Escucho silbidos desde el patio. Mientras me estaba bañando, escuchaba golpes de la ventana. Nunca me había pasado esto. Los silbidos nunca, la verdad. Eh, todo tipo de ruidos, pero silbidos nunca. No sé qué hacer, pero eh, ya fue. Ya fue, voy a salir a, a revisar. Voy a salir a revisar. A estas alturas yo ya no tengo miedo, la verdad. No hay nada. Whistling can be heard, and Leon Rito goes to check, and this is where I have to ask, did you catch it? Watch closely. A creepy face of someone or something can be seen eerily peeking in through the glass of the door, but Leon Rito doesn't see it. The whistling continues until he gets outside, and suddenly it stops but then something can be seen pressing on a sheet hanging outside. When he checks underneath, nothing's there though. A few nights later, Leon Rito captures something which has left him lost for words. Son las 3 de la mañana de nuevo. Ayúdame. Y... Por favor. Esto es lo que por yo, favor. con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo... Vos no sos Daniel, vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz Daniel se fue hace meses del país, vos no sos Daniel Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora ya... Dejame de joder, dejame de joder Ya no puedo vivir, ya no puedo vivir así. 
Ya no puedo ya. Yo no tengo más miedo. No tengo más miedo. No, yo sí no puedo vivir. Sí no puedo seguir. The voice of Leon Rito's friend can be heard coming from his bathroom, but when he checks inside, his friend isn't in there. And then, a mysterious white figure is caught on camera, walking past the glass, inside a pitch black room of Leon Rito's house. A week later, he's awoken to the sounds of a woman crying outside his house, and decides to go and help. <laughs> ¿Quién sos? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué, qué, qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? figure in white is caught on camera, mimicking the crying sounds of a woman in distress to get his attention. But did you see it? High up on top of Leon Rito's house, a dark figure can be seen standing there motionless, looking down at Leon Rito. But who the heck is it? These scary moments have understandably left Leon Rito frightened beyond words. He believes he is being haunted by a malevolent dark entity, the pitch black figure seen standing on this roof and it is the reason for all the terrifying paranormal activity he's been encountering. But well then, who is this white figure? TikTok viewers believe that this is a witch who conjured up dark and evil spirits many, many years ago on the very ground Leon Rito's house is built on. But what do you think? Is Leon Rito the victim of a terrifying haunting? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. This terrifying clip was uploaded by Scariest8666 on TikTok, but originally came from an undisclosed source. The video shows a man investigating a horrific noise which came from another part of his home. What he encounters has left viewers horrified. As the man peers into a dark room, the clear silhouette of a dark figure can be seen standing motionless amongst the shadows. But when he takes a look again, the figure is no longer there. Many commenters have pointed out that this may be a dark entity known as the infamous Hatman Shadow Figure. Instantly recognisable because of his distinctive hat, the Hatman has become a feature of modern urban legends worldwide. Apparently, the Hatman has been seen by numerous people worldwide. Just on this video alone, there are dozens of comments from people who have encountered this mysterious shadowy figure. While accounts of this entity have not always been the most consistent other than his hat. They all agree that this shadow figure is not a friendly one. This next ghost video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel, LOL Creatures. The ghost hunters investigate an abandoned hospital in Japan that is rumoured to be home to spirits of former patients. The paranormal investigators arrive equipped to gouge exactly how haunted the derelict building is with a variety of equipment. However, they are only there mere minutes before the two pick up on the strong malevolent energy at multiple points throughout the building. These manifestations only escalate escalate the longer they stay in the building, especially when they split up. And when one of the ghost hunters makes his way up to the top floor, he captures something which may prove they're not alone. Hmm? <laughs> 
As the camera points in a room, a pale hand can be seen pressed against the glass of a window, several stories high up off the ground. But when he takes a second look, there's no hand. The ghost hunters group up and show each other the footage. They become spooked by the creepy hand on the window. However, nothing could prepare them for this footage, captured by one of the other ghost hunters while he was alone in a different part of the hospital. <laughs> Did you spot it? As the bright flashlight hits the doorway, for a brief second, we can see a translucent ghostly figure of what looks like a little girl standing there. But seconds before when the flashlight hits the doorway the first time, the figure isn't there. And at the time, the ghost hunter is completely unaware of the ghostly presence. LOL creatures viewers were left spooked by these creepy captures. The ghost hunters caught at this abandoned building, with many believing that the team captured a real ghost on camera. But what do you make of this? Is this abandoned hospital still haunted by spirits of former patients? Let me know in the comments below. This next clip comes from the YouTube channel Side Adventures Into History. Dan and Robert, the guys behind the channel, explore all sorts of places across the southeastern United States, from ghost towns to forgotten homesteads, documenting everything they can find. In this video, the explorers visit a place Dan has been familiar with since his childhood, an abandoned old house miles deep in the woods of Georgia. The house is situated on a huge 500 acre piece of forest land and has been abandoned for as long as Dan can remember. Dan and Robert take a look around the house and examine its structure with Dan providing valuable insights into the dilapidated former home when they come across something which spooks them. Either this was a one room house or it was a two room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's a uh... Then a lot of pillars were placed under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? Sure. Oh, what is that? that? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Here. here. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was weird. All right, that's gonna, that's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have All right, that's it. Come on. Let's go. I'm gone. While looking under the house at the foundations of the home, the pair hear what sounds like footsteps on the floorboards right above their heads. Visibly shaken, the two immediately pull themselves out from under the building and investigate the main floor. Mysteriously, there is nobody there, but the incident encourages them to move on elsewhere. While talking to the camera away from the house, the two suddenly hear an extremely loud bang come from the building behind them, and with that, the two decide to leave. Dan and Robert's viewers were left stunned by this video with the majority highlighting their authenticity and believing that they encountered ghosts of residents that used to live in this house. But what do you think the pair caught on camera at this abandoned house deep in the woods? Share your thoughts in the comments. Uploaded to the subreddit Ghosts by username Gabaflasm. This video has gone viral, racking up over 26,000 upvotes, which is rare to see on the ghost subreddit as it's filled with skeptics. The video is titled, so uh, my mom just sent this to me from her security camera and Redditors have been scratching their heads for months, trying to figure out just what on earth the camera caught.
didn't see it, here it is again. Unaware to the OP's brother loading his car, the mysterious transparent figure moves along the wooded area behind him before it weirdly dissipates, like it was never there. The uploader claims that his brother heard nothing in the area around him when it happened, and that no neighbours or anyone would have been there. It is simply a mystery to the OP and their family. Redditors of the ghost subreddit, however, have their opinions, with the majority believing that this clip is legit. And even the skeptic army, like this guy, says that this is one fucking creepy video. But the question remains, just what did the camera capture lurking in the woods behind the OP's brother? Use the comments to share your thoughts. Uploaded to the subreddit Ghost a few years back by a username Joe Ellis12. This video has resurfaced recently. Apparently, according to the caption, the OP's brother recorded his niece in his parents' kitchen cupboard alone. Or maybe not. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Eh? ¿Qué estás haciendo? María José, te estoy hablando. On first glance, it's quite hard to see, but if you look closely... A small hand reaches out from the dark shadows of the cupboard before slipping back out of sight. Viewers suggest this to be the hand of something sinister, possibly an entity that mimics a small child to befriend the OP's niece. But what do you think? The final video has been shared before, and it's another that has stuck in my head ever since I first saw it. The video was uploaded over 15 years ago by Carlos Coy135 and has left thousands of viewers spooked. The backstory to this video is that a 16 year old girl named Sylvia Likens tragically lost her life at the hands of her psychotic mother Gertrude Banaszewski, accompanied by her children and to add insult to injury other young people in their neighbourhood. Sylvia lived in the house seen in this video. Two films were released about the horrific event in 2007, but sadly, two years later, the house was torn down. Over the years, people have reported seeing the ghost of Sylvia wandering the area, but prior to the house being torn down, eyewitnesses have reported seeing a ghostly little girl in the window of Sylvia's bedroom. This video, which was taken over 15 years ago and before the house was demolished, shows Carlos and his friends exploring the outside. Aware of the rumours of the ghost of Sylvia Likens, Carlos decides to film their approach and ends up capturing something which has left even experts baffled. This is fucking freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's f Oh hell no, this picture looks serious too. Dude, I fucking did you hear it? As Carlos moves away from the dark basement, the sounds of someone screaming, somebody help me, followed by help, can be heard. Listen carefully. The sound is so chilling that even to this day, my whole body shivers while watching this video. Viewers have suggested that this is likely the voice of Sylvia Likens, and I'm yet to see a comment from anyone who thinks otherwise. But what do you think? Is this the voice of Sylvia Likens who tragically passed away several years ago? You tell me. 
thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.